what is going on guys today we are back with another video what are we going to film today or what have we already filmed today shelby walleye yeah we are out here and this is a family vacation weekend uh we are up here in northeast wisconsin it is me we got shelby we got devil dog uh stella almost forgot her name for a second and the good dog silly boy but uh, family vacation, this is actually our second day up here. Yesterday we fished a whole bunch of lakes, caught some walleyes, and uh, today I was not going to film at all, just because sometimes Shelby needs the lack of stress, I would say. Yeah, I, in a way. It yeah. gets a little you high stress when I film. Out. But anyways, yeah, Shelby's like, we should really turn the camera on. So we did, and uh, we're out here on a lake where I fished one other time in my life, and uh, it kind of produced, and we've decided to make a video out of it. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. But announcement number one, before we kind of post this video, I guess, um, we have new shirts. I really, truly appreciate everybody who bought a shirt. It really means a lot. We get asked all the time, how can I support your channel? And it really does mean a lot that you guys allow me to do what I do every day. And uh, so I try to make some awesome shirts, and uh, hopefully you guys like them. We'll kind of show you some of them here. This is kind of like the hooked up series. Series. I'm kind of doing this thing where each month we'll kind of do a different version. I think next month we're going to do some kind of American flag type of thing. Um, some cool stuff like that. What yeah, do you think? That's a good idea. But like I said, truly appreciate you guys buying all the merchandise. It really means a lot. Like you guys support this channel and allow me to come out here and film awesome videos. And I try to re pay the favor to you guys by giving you guys accurate, reliable, and practical mainly walleye fishing information but like i said today we filmed a quick little video on spot number one and uh yeah we'll kind of go in depth of what this spot looks like what we're how we're catching them what we're doing and things like that so pretty cool exciting day out here and uh we're just going to kind of relax the rest of the day but hopefully you guys enjoy this video are you serious <laughs> wow look at that it's gonna be a no, it is a walleye, Shelby. Look at that. All right, well, we're just getting rolling here. Spot number one. And uh, obviously, it's pretty flat out. So I, I got a feeling, regardless of this fish, I got a feeling the slip bar is probably still going to be our best type of thing. We literally just started here. And a uh, little, I don't know, 14 and a half inch walleye right there. First cast on the Kalen's 3.8 inch tickle tail right there. And we are very low on leeches today. So. Even if the leech is kind of our best presentation, I kind of feel like we're only going to be able to <laughs> get by with that for so long. But it's good to see one popping that thing right away. And I kind of cut that one out at the corner of this little reef thing here, this little hump. So I'm just going to throw this bobber kind of right to where I think I just caught that fish. Because a lot of times, especially on these spots that are kind of like rocky little knobs and stuff, they'll be very, very specific on where they're setting up. And now we wait again, Shelby. I'm gonna throw this one out a little farther though. One big tip with slip bobbers is do not be complacent with, with where they are. I always kind of think about it like uh, um, tip up fishing. Like you throw a tip up out, right Shelby? Yeah. And let's say you're fishing for the whole day and it never goes off back rock, Shelby. It's gone, it's down, it's down. Got him? Yep. yep. So like, just like that. Nope. Yeah. Oh no, Shelby, that's a leech that we needed. Reel it in, probably doesn't have a leech. So anyways, you can see that right in that corner of this reef is kind of where those fish are, obviously. No, <laughs> we lost a leech. Oh, Shelby, we're doing big things now. We're doing big things now. Mine's small. Mine feels small too. Mine is small. No, yours ain't bad. It's not bad. You want me to net them? Yeah, I don't want to lose them. I know, it's more stressful on video. There's a 15 inch. Oh, Stella, you're just, you're literally always in the way. Why are you always in the way like that, Stella? Here, I got the net. Oh, you got them? Nice, 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 nice. All right, and just like that, we're catching fish all of a sudden. Two presentations, Shelby, what do you think? It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good day. And basically, like we kind of said when we pulled up on here, rock hump, kind of undulating depths, and uh, definitely some fish on it. And these are the kind of spots, especially in this kind of early summer time frame, where when you see one on the map, or when you drive over it and you see it's got kind of like the right stuff on it, you just fish it, especially if they're kind of small and isolated basins surrounded like this. 
because it only takes a second to fish them and a lot of times these I would especially say 12 to 17 foot rock humps where it's got some good characters surrounded by deep water sweet spots this time of year for sure is it yep. no it's still going there's something on there okay this one's jogging sideways might be a bass yeah that's what it was like that little one i just caught oh he dropped it you probably got a walleye though huh heck yeah dude There we go. Catching them, dude. How's this for spot number one of the day? Hell yeah. You swore on camera. We'll just bleep that out for the kids at home. I don't know. Are you guys all right if Shelby says the H word on camera? The exact same spot, which might be a... Uh, ah, Stella, Stella, Stella. swim bait. I got a feeling this is going to be a lot of those same size fish I keep catching. Oh, this one's a little bit better. Wily though. Real wily. Now I'll just swing them. Another one of these, you know, 15, 16s here on the swim bait. And man, there's just a pile of fish in this spot. Look at that stallion. Look at that. Lots of nice eater size fish in this lake. I was here. I was here one other time in my life and it seemed about the same. I think there is probably some bigger fish to be caught. And, uh, oh, something's going on there, Shelby. Yeah. Just put a little pressure on it. Feel weight? Yeah. Is that, no? Might have been in a rock. But uh, we are obviously on them right now. Is it? Oh, God, I'm all tangled here, Shelby. It's just a nightmare. I'm gonna steal a bobber rod from you. Yeah, Got him, hooked up. <laughs> Man, just a lot going on right now. This might be a bass. No, it is a walleye. So we keep saying over and over, wow. Is this a nice little school to start today, huh? Now, one spot can be a fluke sometimes. Wow, Stella, you're so excited. You're so excited. If we can do this on two consecutive spots, that's a pattern, Steli. That's what we call a pattern. Look at that, nice walleye. Let's let him go. See you later, buddy. All right, how are we finding a lot of these spots? Well, there's a super simple way, and that starts with Hummingbird's depth shading feature. If you're not familiar with that, it's a really simple way to do this, and a lot of times you can do a lot of this kind of legwork the night before. Menu, menu. We're gonna come down to uh, your mid-depth highlight this time of year, right? And you keep hearing me talk about kind of these same mid-depth humps. I would consider a deep hump to be like 25 feet, and uh, your shallower humps, you know, five to 10, and kind of these mid-depth humps a lot of times, kind of that 10 feet out to like 17, 18 feet. So come down here to our minimum highlight value, and we're gonna crank this up to like 12. Come up here to our maximum, we're gonna crank this to like 20. So now what we're gonna have is a green layer that is highlighted everywhere from 12 to 20 feet, and you can kind of see it wrapping around the shoreline here. Basically all you do is start zooming in on some of these humps. So here's one right here, right? Waypoint, drop a waypoint. Now all we're gonna do is keep scrolling and we're gonna look for more isolated humps surrounded by deeper water, which are green. Here's another one, right? This one kind of comes off a knob of another point. Boom, waypoint. Here's another one, right? Another one of these isolated green blobs around deeper water. Boom, waypoint. So it makes it real quick to start, you know, highlighting this kind of depth. And a lot of times it can be on a point, right? If you have a point that comes out a long ways from shore and real slow progression, you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10. And then the second you get to that 12 to 20 foot zone, most of the time that's where these fish are. And a lot of these lakes fish very similarly right now, kind of until that midsummer time frame, I would say, you know, when we start getting around the 4th of July and on, and our water temps are really going up fast right now. It's 72. I know you guys always want to hear the water temp, which is abnormally high for this time of year. But a lot of times this early summer period, it's this mid depth structure, that 12 to 20 feet of water on a lot of these natural lakes, they're going to hold fish. Now phase two would be start driving around. Start driving around and looking at a lot of these humps. Some of them might be weeds, some of them might be rock, um, but we're looking for characteristics. You know, most times those plain sand ones, not as good as the ones that have rock or weeds. So the humps we're fishing today, here's some screenshots right here. You can kind of see, a lot of times we're looking for the spot that has the most character. So if you have a bigger hump, 
and you see an area that looks like this right here, that's where that character is at. Or a lot of times if it's all kind of flat, 17 foot hump, and then there's a 14 foot knob on one corner, that's a lot of times where that character is at, right? So all we're really doing is kind of just kind of driving along. I'm taking a quick side imaging look at them. We're not seeing fish on rock a lot of times because these humps are just solid rock. We're just looking for wherever that biggest cluster or that little knob that comes off it, and we're pitching our slip bobbers right there. And a lot of these spots and a lot of these natural lakes are not super big, right? They might be, 20 yards by 40 yards. So it doesn't take really a very long time to either cast a swim bait or a plastic or a slip bobber out to those spots and just kind of cover it real quick, right? If those fish are there and they're biting, you're going to catch them and you're going to know it generally pretty quick. So that's really as simple as everything we've done today pretty much was. incredible dude so we had a few times our bobber was going down but it was more so going sideways and I told Shelby just shallow up a foot and a lot of times Ooh, this one might be nice. if that thing's too close to the bottom you know it might not be getting as many bites it is a nice walleye Shelby wow this is incredible absolutely incredible for a spot and lake we basically have never fished before 100% never fished this spot before. But a lot of times these, all lakes, styles of lakes obviously have patterns. And a lot of times, uh, you know, your clear lakes, you know, your kind of your clear natural lakes will all kind of be on the same pattern of fish. And a lot of these lakes are on this mid-depth rock or deep weed edge pattern right now. I love days like this and so does stuff. <laughs> you like that? Thumbnail, thumbnail. Okay. Hold on with the thumbnail. Okay. <laughs> Dude, we were gonna take a thumbnail picture and it's just literally fish after fish after fish right now. I'll just grab them, Shelby. Okay. It's actually, it's another nice one though. What, you it? I'll, I'll go for the flip. If we lose them, we lose them. Got them though. Wow, dude. This is incredible. All right, we got the thumbnail picture. Back they go. Oh, that is too cool. All right, well, I appreciate you guys watching this video. That is going to do it for us today. It was a fun, we're just going to kind of relax, maybe casually fish the rest of the day. Go swimming. Uh, go swimming because it is going to get hot out today. But I appreciate you guys watching this one. Just a quick little family vacation walleye fishing video. And uh, hopefully you guys are out there catching some fish and having some fun because it is just a beautiful, beautiful time of year to fish, really. It's not, uh, I mean, it's just kind of this this late or early summer into summer transition is normally always a pretty good place to fish everywhere. So appreciate you guys watching this. If you're not yet, please subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. No idea what's coming next, but there'll definitely be some more travel this week. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. Should be a good time.